What's up everyone, it's Trevor back with another video and this week I want to talk to you guys about how much dental school actually costs and how much debt I'm going to be in after this very first year. So this topic is actually pretty heated right now. If you go on any of the forums, so like Dental Town or SDN, every day you'll see a new person come on there and try to dissuade pre-dental students from going into this profession because they think that the tuition is, well, they see that the tuition is rising and rising and rising, and they think that it's not worth it anymore, that by the time you pay off your student loans and start actually living a, a comfortable lifestyle for how much hard work you put into school, you're going to be 50, 55 years old when back in the golden years of dentistry, that's when some people were even retiring at that age. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about how much I'm going to be spending um, for the next four years and specifically this first year. So let's jump over to the whiteboard and start it out. Okay, so OSU has given me kind of rough estimates about what the total cost of attendance for the next four years is going to be. So let's try to break that down. And so first, when I'm talking about the total cost of attendance, I mean everything that you could possibly spend money on. So that is tuition, which is the main thing, and then living, food, um, gas, transportation, uh, books, clothes, anything and everything goes into total cost of attendance. And for me personally, I think I'm going to come out right around 315000 to 320000 for the next four years. And I know that is it sounds like a lot and it is a lot of money, but I honestly feel lucky I have a lot of friends who are going to be much worse off than I am, so I am just going to consider myself lucky and not try to spend too much time thinking about it. But let's jump into how all the tuition works and all those costs are gonna add up and really get into detail about the first year. Year one here at OSU, D1, is definitely gonna be the most expensive year out of them all. So tuition is going to be 78,000, and that is basically double what it normally would be because I'm considered out of state. But one of the awesome things about going to school here at OSU is after your first year, after you've lived in Ohio for um, 12 months, you get to qualify as in-state. And I got to change my driver's license and um, insurance and a few things around to qualify for that. But when I do, it drops tuition all the way down to 50000 a year instead of that seventy eight or 80000 So my advice for you guys as you're applying to schools, try to find the cheapest one that you can go to. But honestly, in my opinion, I think the program that fits you the best, kind of your gut feeling where you think you should go, where you think you have the best chance of succeeding, still trumps the, the cheapest school. So if I could pick an order, it would go pick the school that you're going to be happiest at and then go to the cheapest school. Year one, I think, is going to total around 99000 for everything. So 78000 of that is going to be tuition. And then the next most expensive thing is definitely going to be living expenses. And I think that's going to total right around 12000 And then after that is food, which is going to come right in at 4000 And that sounds like a lot. And honestly, food is something that's really important to me. I like to be healthy if I eat a lot of top ramen or fast food stuff that might be a little bit cheaper. I just start to feel really crappy and I feel like it'll, it'll hurt my grades, honestly, because I won't feel well, I won't be motivated to study or have energy. So I actually like to splurge on food more than anything else, I would say. Outside of those three things, I'm hoping to keep all other expenses. So, you know, going to the movies, any entertainment, going to football games, um, going out to eat, everything under $5,000. And I think that will keep me right on track to not graduate with too much excessive debt. One thing that's very important to keep in mind while you're trying to make a budget for everything is interest. And this past week, I've been looking a ton into that, trying to figure out how much is this, all this money that I'm taking out going to cost in the future when I'm actually making money to pay it back. And so let's just take this $99,000, for example, that I'm going to be spending on the first year of dental school. I think I'm right around a 6.6% interest rate on the two different loans that I got to finance the first year. And so that $99,000 in 10 years is actually going to be 135,000. So that's actually how much I'm going to pay instead of that 99,000. So interest 
really hurts. It compounds really quickly. So the faster we can get out of school and start paying those back, the better and the much less you'll actually have to waste on paying interest as opposed to just the principal amount. So my plan of attack once I finally get out of school and I have this huge mountain of debt that I'm going to pay back is to just pay, put everything I can towards it. So I'm going to probably live a lot more frugally than I originally thought when I graduate. I'm not going to go out and buy that new car. I'm not going to go out and move into a brand new fancy house. I'm going to focus on just getting out of debt completely um, paying off all of this so that the interest doesn't continue to accrue and make this huge pile of cash something that is impossible to pay back. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you were able to see a little bit more about how much dental school is actually going to cost. I'm going to definitely be giving you guys updates as the years go on and see if I can fit this budget, if it's too high, too low, where I can save, where I have to spend a little bit extra. So stay tuned for all of those. And tomorrow I'm actually flying home for the last week before school starts, because once that grind starts, it's going to be really hard to take vacations besides, you know, the big holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. So I'm going to enjoy one more week with my family and that means that there actually won't be a video next Monday, but I will be posting probably during that week once I go through orientation. I'm going to try to film as much of it as possible and let you guys know how exciting it is to finally meet all my classmates and get started. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see y'all in the next one.